Hello, Platte River Academy families, and welcome back to another great year here at PRA. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about safety and security around the building, and in particular, uh, the car line area and neighborhood pickup. Um, I think all of you are aware that uh, we have a lot of families that try to come to the school in a very short period of time, and sometimes we get in a rush and we uh, do some things that uh, we wouldn't normally do. But we wanted to uh, touch on a few ideas that we're about to implement to improve some of the safety in the neighborhood in particular. Um, I think you all have uh, experienced our new Schools Out app, and we're excited about that, helping us um, uh, keep kids in classrooms until they're ready to come out and then have um, all of our timings really sync up. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about is the impacts that we have in the community surrounding PRA. We have been working very hard to try to expand some of our facilities, like a new middle school wing, improving our field and um, cafeteria areas with a new gym. And when we've gone to the County Planning Commission, they have shared with us that they're not willing to do anything with regard to expansion until we manage our neighborhood impact better. So we've got to do some pretty major um, changes. So what we're going to do is starting next week, we will be releasing walkers in two groups. The first group will be the students that have a last name that ends from A to M. And then the second group will be released with last name starting from N till Z. What we will be doing is uh, releasing car riders first so we can get our car line moving. Then one minute later, we will release the A through M walkers to walk up the, the street. So that's 316. We've timed it, and we think that seven minutes is approximately the time it takes for to, on average for someone to walk from our school up to the car area, neighborhood um, area, get in their car and drive away. So seven minutes later, we will release the nine, the N through Z alphabet. So that would be at 323. So they can get up there and we think that the, they'll be gone by 3.30, which is what time we customarily finish our car line every day. Um, so what does that mean for families? Well, it means if you have a family, if your family name starts with A through M, please come and plan to pick up your students for the 315 release. If you are an N through Z, please wait because the A through M cars will have be pulling out and then giving you space to pull in to meet your kids. So we'll release the kids at 323. They'll walk up. You won't uh, you'll have many more cars, um, spaces to choose from, and we can start to really um, better manage our impact on the neighborhood. Now, we know that there are families that carpool, and we want to promote carpooling because that's one of the things that will help us decrease our total impact. So if you are a family that carpools and you have uh, children that within both of those groups, we're going to allow you to go either time. Um, so you'll have to e email info at prak8.org and the classroom teacher to let them know that uh, your child or the other children that walk together will be walking up. So I want to repeat that. We, will, we are promoting carpooling and that will give you the ability to walk up with the first group all year long. Now, I bring up all year because we're going to use the A through M, N through Z for the first semester, so till winter break. And after winter break, we're going to flip it. The N through Z kids will release at 316, and the A through M kids will release at 323, so that everyone has the chance to be the first out um, each day. So we feel this is the best next move for us to help decrease a lot of the congestion that we've been experiencing. We see people making decisions because they're frustrated and we want to start to lower all of that anxiety and frustration and really get people focusing on just picking up your kids, 
making it a safe scenario, and then going about the rest of your day. We've also made several different improvements around campus uh, with regard to security. Um, and there's an article that's attached to this video that um, I recommend you read, understand what we're doing um, to make kids um, safe around the building. And um, if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to discuss, please, please, please don't hesitate to give me an email. Uh, you can give me a call. You can schedule a meeting. I'm happy to talk through all of these things with you. But uh, by working together, we can make PRA the safe and great place that it is for kids. And um, we want to make sure that we're definitely following our um, core values that we teach the kids, and that's respect and responsibility. And one of the things that we can do is model that for our kids, and that definitely is the case out in the neighborhood and in Carline. So, Again, thank you for taking a few minutes to listen to this and to read the article, and hope you have a great day.